On today's video, we're going to be cooking this Iberico Copa from Campo Grande. You're not going to want to miss this. If you don't know what a copa is, this comes from the boneless half of the pork butt, also known as the money muscle. This is going to be amazing. We're going to be using the all new drip and divide setup from SNS Grills. We've got the water pan and a dripping griddle. This is a much more economical option if you don't want to spend the money on a slow and sear, but still going to give you that high humidity two zone cooking. This will turn any kettle grill into a smoker. So come on in. You're going to want to check out this cook. We got all kinds of great stuff going on today. Today, to make this cook even simpler, I've got a brand new product from Chef's Temp. Right here, we've got the Brizo, which is a fan temperature controller for your grill, which works in conjunction with the Pro Temp. This is a smart thermometer that replaces the thermometer on your grill. Today, we're going to be testing it out on the s, &S kettle. It's going to be amazing on my Lone Star Grills insulated mini. Fan controller, it includes an adapter and a power cord. Also, a variety of adapter plates, so you can make this fit just about any cooker. This feels really heavy and seems like it's nicely built. Now time to look at the Pro Temp S1. Really nicely packaged. This would be a great gift. Wow. This is serious. This is not chintzy at all. This is really nice. Really well built. Heavy duty. This also is going to include a power cord. This nice wing nut just gonna replace your current thermometer. Gonna show you how easy it is to install this Chef's Temp temperature control fan onto your kettle grill. Also, I wanna point out right here, this includes an adjustable damper so you can control how powerful the fan is. This is just held on by a magnet. I'm gonna remove this for now. Simply has a spring clip like this. I'm gonna insert this into the hole. And like that, it's installed. This Breezo comes with two power cords, so you can run the fan and charge the Pro Temp S1 at the same time, but it's not necessary to have them hooked together like this because they communicate wirelessly. This is the first I've ever seen like this. Let's get this Iberico Copa opened up, and see what we're working with. Oh man, as I take this out, I can feel this fat. It just has that soft feel. It feels like Wagyu fat. It's just greasy right on my fingers. This Copa, just like everything else I've gotten from Campo Grande, is perfectly trimmed. You can see right there, there's that money muscle. This is just the best part of the pork butt. Wow. For seasoning today, we're going with this Wistero barbecue rub. This stuff is phenomenal. It's got lots of great flavors. It's got paprika, onion, but what I really like about this is that just the chipotle chili powder in there. Well, let's season this up. Get both sides good, and then we'll get what's spilt on the board. We'll put that around the edges. Be generous. Pat that in. All right, we'll let this soak into the meat for a little bit. We'll go ahead and fire up that s, s grill while this rub sets up a little bit on this meat. Installing this drip and divide is really easy. This little foot here is going to hold it up. It just clips into the grate, just like that. So our charcoal is going to go here. Drip and griddle over here. I like to line mine with foil, makes for easier cleanup. These can go in the dishwasher too, so that's completely up to you. Okay, just like that. When it comes to what charcoal to use, around here, it's always Jealous Devil because we're burning the best. These Jealous Devil briquettes are two and a half times the size of ordinary briquettes with no chemical additives. These are all natural, just like all Jealous Devil's products. To get this started, we got some boom fire starters from Jealous Devil as well. These are all natural. Forget about any of those lighter fluid or chemical based fire starters. These, these are made from coconut fiber. This is what you want. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that down to the bottom, light it up. These flames will get about a foot high and the boom fire starter will burn for about 20 minutes. While this charcoal gets going, we're gonna go ahead and add some hot water 
to this divider here. Let that charcoal burn for a few more minutes. Then we're going to shut the lid and fire up the Chef's Temp Brizo. Okay, it's going to go in the app here. And hit Start Smart Fan. Got it set to 235 degrees. We'll hit Start. I can hear that fan running. This fan seems really powerful. I've only got the damper about a quarter of the way open. We'll see how that works out. I'll let you know any adjustments I make. Got this charging base from Chef's Tep. It charges four wireless probes at a time. So we're gonna go ahead and take one of these out. These wireless probes from Chef's Temp also work with the Chef's Temp S1 thermometer and the Brizo. This is the first fan control unit I've ever seen that works with wireless thermometer probes. I'm so excited about this. So let's go ahead and get this inserted right in this Iberico Copa, all the way in. Let that grill finish heating up and then we'll get this on. We're sitting at around 225 degrees now. We're going for 275, but we're going to go and get this cook started. Going in with the Gels Devil Hickory Smoke Block. These are the only way to go, in my opinion. Nice clean wood, no bark. Going to give you nice clean smoke. When you're cooking on a small cooker like a kettle or a WSM, you do not want to overdo the wood. Just go easy on that. We can always add more later. Now, time to get this Iberico Copa on the cooker. Set that right there, indirect. To be honest, there's not going to be much more to do. This Chef's Temp Brizo should take care of managing the fire. We may or may not wrap it. We're going to see. I'll bring you back with any updates we got. But until then, we can sit back, relax, and keep an eye on things. This thing is also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So no matter where we are, we're keeping track of the cook thanks to Chef's Temp. I'm going to go ahead and point out to you that the chef's temp can monitor up to four wireless probes at a time, in addition to monitoring the ambient temperature and controlling the fan for you. It's been doing a great job of maintaining the proper ambient temperature. So far, I'm loving this. Berico Copa has been on for a few hours. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. I don't always wrap my pulled pork, but we got pretty nice bark, and this Iberico pork fat melts at a low temperature, and I wanna save all that beautiful pork fat. So let's go ahead and get this wrapped up. Oh, we'll use a double layer. Got the, also, we've got that wireless probe in there, so that makes it easy. I'm gonna put this back on. And get that back on the grill. We'll check back when it's finished. Oh man, look at that bark. Woo. Not gonna waste that juice. This should just fall right apart. Let's dig in. Oh yeah, nice and tender. Look at that. Let's go in for the taste test. Wow. The flavor on this is so much richer than regular pulled pork. Oh my God. This is incredible. I can't believe what I'm eating right now. Wow, this is like a whole new animal. Mm. Normally, I just sit here and eat a big pile of meat, but I think today we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a taco. I'm going to go ahead and finish shredding this pork quick. Oh man, it's so juicy. Look at this. Look at that smoke ring we got. Brizo from Chef's Temp really performed perfectly for this cook. Ooh, it's still hot. Let's go ahead and make this Iberico taco. Gonna make sure we get plenty of this bark in there because that's my favorite part. Using an egg life wrap here today because if you don't know, I keep most of my food pretty strict carnivore. I don't mind including some seasoning, but try to avoid grains for sure. Looks like about enough meat. Maybe just one more little piece. Let's get one more piece. There we go. Now that's perfect. Next, we're going to go back in with some more of this Wistero barbecue rub. Just a little dust of that on top. Add some nice flavor. 
to give this that heat we want, we're going to go in with some of this fire gold hot sauce. This is delicious. Look at that, load that up. Of course, got to have a little bit of acidity. So let's hit it with some fresh squeezed lime juice. Oh man, this is going to be good. I wish you could smell this. Let's go. Sorry, I can't share. Oh man. Oh man. Mm. Never going back to grocery store pork again after eating this Iberico pork from Campo Grande. Man, this was such a great cook. Everything came together just right for me. The drip and divide from SNS Grills worked great. If you're on a budget, I definitely recommend that. Of course, the slow and sear is still the goat, but if you guys save money, that's a great option. Chef's Temp has done it again with the Brizo. That fan worked really good. It never overshot. It did a really good job of regulating the fan speed. Remember, that unit is Wi-Fi, Bluetooth enabled. And of course, I can't say enough good things about all Westero rubs. So much great flavor. This is packing. Clean ingredients. Man, what a winner of a day. Thanks for watching. And also head over to my Instagram, at RustyBBQLamb. Give me a follow over there. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Thanks again. Mm.